name is Anisha Carr, and I'm a 10th grader at Sandy Spring right now. <clears throat> My topic is Jeffersonian dinners. So we all know who this is, Thomas Jefferson, super accomplished man, framer of the Declaration of Independence, architect, third president of the United States, and something you may not know about him, host of fabulous dinner parties. The dinners Jefferson held at the White House and at Monticello were talked about everywhere. With so many different accomplishments in so many different areas, Thomas Jefferson was like the Elon Musk of his day. So what made Thomas Jefferson's party so special? There were three things. Number one, a clear intention. Thomas Jefferson's parties weren't just get-togethers. They were opportunities for exceptional and influential people to work together on difficult issues. Thomas Jefferson saw each party as an opportunity to tackle an important social issue. Before each dinner, every attendee was mailed a letter containing a single question. This question was the issue that would be explored at the dinner. Number two, he was super selective about his guest list. He wanted an exceptional group of individuals who were accomplished in a variety of different endeavors, educators and soldiers, urban planners and painters. He needed a diverse group of opinions to make progress on the issue he brought them all together to discuss. Number three, rules. Thomas Jefferson's dinner parties had three rules. The purpose of the rules was to ensure that the group made progress on the issue that they were discussing. So what were these rules? They were actually pretty simple. Number one, no side conversations. All talk is to be addressed to the whole group. Number two, stay on topic. Each dinner had a social issue it was meant to advance. This meant that the conversation had to stay focused. Number three, at the end of the dinner, all the attendees would talk about how they were going to follow up on the night's discussion. With these simple adjustments, Jefferson was able to transform the typical dinner party into a vehicle for social change. His goal was to have everyone involved in an engaging conversation for the entirety of the dinner. Jeff Walker from the Generosity Network is a strong believer in the benefits of the Jeffersonian dinners, and he's popularized the idea. He started them as a way to connect with people over simple ideas, and he now hosts them all over the world for a number of large and small issues. One of the things you might think of when you hear about Jeffersonian dinners is how well they fit in with Quaker traditions. Dinners like these promote social action, which is something that's really important to a lot of Quaker communities, especially this one. Jeffersonian dinners are also an amazing vehicle to enhance your connections, expand your network, and harness the goodwill intentions of the community inside and outside Sandy Spring Friends School. You may be wondering, how can I participate? There's an opportunity for everyone to get involved in a Jeffersonian dinner without actually having to host one. There will be a new student-led organization starting on campus next fall called Think Tank X. Think Tank X will have students dealing with a variety of student-suggested problems and questions, as small as figuring out ways to connect students with internship opportunities, and as large as figuring out ways that we as a community can connect with and help suffering communities all over the world. Our goal is to work collectively on a single issue until some type of solution or next step is formed. The ongoing discussion will culminate in a Jeffersonian dinner including a couple of involved members of the organization and a few passionate and influential people from inside the community who are in some way related to the topic of the dinner. Think Tank X will provide students with leadership opportunities and tangible ways to support their cause. Please help support our community and send a quick email to thinktank.sfs at gmail.com. We'll send you a newsletter to keep you in the loop and let you know about upcoming dinners that you might actually be interested in participating in. So if you're looking for a way to get more involved, this would be a great way to stay connected with the spirit of Quaker activism. So please send that email, and um, thank you.